<laughs> Kanina pa ako binabati ng Happy Valentine's na mga tao eh, no? Sige. Uh, anyway, wala lang kasi ako masuot eh. Anyway. <laughs> good morning! Good morning sa inyo lahat. Good morning. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, good morning sa iyo. Yeah, okay. So, today is uh, the last day ng ating series for the month of February. At ang title po ng ating series is Hearts Delight. Okay, Hearts Delight. Uh, subtitle niya, Enjoy Your Sabbath Day with the Lord. So we're talking about the Sabbath Day throughout this month na ito. And for those of you na maaari na miss nyo, hindi nyo napakinggan nyo yung mga naunang uh, messages o sermons natin concerning this topic, uh, punta lang kayo sa rlcc.ph, rlcc.ph, yung website natin. Uh, you can find it there. O kaya i-download nyo po yung, yung app natin, which is free. Uh, para you can always listen to uh, RLCC sermons anytime. Uh, another option, of course, is to go to uh, YouTube. Okay? Uh, hanapin nyo lang ang RLCC PHIL sa YouTube and you'll be able to find our sermons. Medyo delayed lang na konti doon kasi, uh, yeah, delayed lang. Pero kung gusto nyo updated, doon tayo sa website. So this is our topic. Now, summary lang, no, para balikan lang natin yung first Sunday natin. Uh, on the first Sunday, uh, I said Sabbath is both uh, a day uh, and a heart attitude. And I think dalawang dapat natin bigyan ng importansya in our understanding about the Sabbath kasi on the first week, tinalakay natin yung meaning of the Sabbath. So it's a day, it's been 24 hours. Uh, now please don't feel uh, condemned or anything kung di mo nagagawa ito for a day. At walang specific day naman tayo sinasabi, although as a church, uh, dinesignate natin yung Sabado as the day na as a church we're going to practice the Sabbath. Pero pwede naman ibang araw. We're not legalistic uh, about that. Uh, pero yun nga, we're trying to persuade you na, na merong isang araw talaga during your week na masasabi mo na this is the day na Sabbat mo yan. Alright? But it's really more of an attitude. It's really more of an attitude. It has to do with your conviction. It has to do with your faith. It has to do with your understanding of God's purpose para sa inyo. Otherwise, Yung, yung Sabbath can be another legalistic requirement, no? Na imbis na maging blessing sa atin, it can easily become parang, uh, you know, a requirement. So, para tayong, di ba, yung mga religious groups na pag hindi ka nag-Sabbath, you know, bad ka. <laughs> okay, that's not what we're trying to say dito sa series na to. We're saying na this is something na gusto ng Panginoon na maunawaan natin. Now, on the second Sunday, I talked about uh, the idea that Sabbath is God's gift of rest. So, blessing ito sa atin. Sabihin nyo nga po, blessing. Okay? Uh, hindi lang sa inuutos ni Lord to at susunod tayo kasi inuutos niya, kundi dapat maintindihan natin na merong kalakip ito o merong kasama ito na mga benefits sa atin. Okay? It has benefits for us. right? So, very important natin maintindihan niya. Now, last Sunday, uh, we talked about yung mga misan hindrances natin, not just pertaining to Sabbath, but kahit anong spiritual discipline, usually may challenges yan. So, sabi ko, overcome your hindrances by not focusing on your weaknesses. So, if ever nagtatry ka mag-practice ng Sabbath or any other spiritual discipline, discipline tapos na may challenge ka, nag-fail ka minsan, you know, trying to pray, hindi ka makapag-pray, trying to have a Sabbath, pero hindi mo magawa yung Sabbath kasi yung gulo-gulo ng bahay, daming mga tao, hindi nagko-cooperate, and, and all of that. Okay, I, I want you not to get discouraged, but to just keep on, okay, just trusting God. Anything na bago, misa takes a while bago natin na uh, ma-overcome yung mga old habits natin at mapalitan natin ng bago. Okay? So today, we're going to talk about something I think very important, which is the goals of the Sabbath. Uh, okay? Ano ba ang gusto natin mangyari on the Sabbath? Now, I know some of you are asking, so what exactly ang gagawin namin on the Sabbath? So mamayang Soul Summit, I'll talk about yung practicality nito. I mean, how do you, what, ano ba gagawin natin pag Sabbath day natin? What are the, uh, the things na uh, dapat uh, isakatuparan natin? But to, this morning, ngayon, I'll talk about yung goals muna. Yung mga general goals na ika nga, kung kayo yung mag-sabat, uh, you can evaluate your sabat based on these goals. No, you can ask yourself, nangyari ba ito? No? Now, again, be, don't condemn yourself kung hindi mangyari ito. Pero at least ito yung magandang batayan or basis for you to say, wow, I think I'm learning how to practice the sabat. So we're going to talk about the goals of the sabat. Amen? Alright, so let's pray and ask God to just speak to us this morning. Father, maraming salamat sa iyo. You are good. Gaya na sinabi ng mga songs namin kanina, reminding us of your goodness. 
of your mercy. Thank you for that uh, reminder also from Brother Paul as he told us, exhorted us to always trust in your goodness. Salamat po, Panginoon, for those very important reminders sa buhay namin, sa mundo kinagagalawa namin because it's so easy to forget how good you are and to just focus minsan like Lord God sa mga requirements mo and sometimes we feel burden kami pero once we see that it's out coming from a good good father and that intention on is for our good then we can just begin to embrace yung mga sinasabi mo in your word so lord tulungan mo kami this morning once again to understand the goals of the sabbath and later on this afternoon doon sa the practice or the practicing the sabbath salamat po panginoon for your purpose para sa amin today but it may happen Lord God this morning and may happen thank you Lord in Jesus name and all of us say amen to that now last Sunday I was pretty tired medyo napagod ako ng gusto and uh, and so I told my wife at the end of the day Sunday sabi ko ano naman tayo relax naman tayo let's watch a movie and sabi ng wife ko ano movie ang panonoorin natin and sabi ko well I heard na may bagong pelikula si Liam Neeson you know yung Gumanap ng Taken. Ang title ng pelikula is uh, The Cold Pursuit. Okay? So, title pa lang, parang hindi na na-excite si PG. Sabi niya, di ba pwedeng alone together ang panoodin natin or something. I said, no, ayoko. Yeah, I, just, I just gusto ko sana yung Cold Pursuit. Because I know naman na si, si Liam Neeson, the exciting na, ano yan, na pag may mga pelikula, exciting. O sabi niya, in this case, hindi ako interesado sa, you just go ahead. So, normally we don't do that. Every time we watch kami ng movie, we do that together. Pero this time around, siguro na-anticipate na niya na parang lalo siya antokin doon sa pelikula na yun. So sabi niya, sige, go ahead on your own. So I went to sa SM all by myself. Di ba? Parang kanta, no? all by myself. Okay? So I went there, and then, uh, so bumili ako ng ticket. I discovered na isa lang ang showing ng Cold Pursuit sa SM. Just 8 o'clock p.m. You know, na medyo na-concerned ako. Sabi ko, pati isa lang ang showing. So, ibig sabihin, so, beses lang palalabas eh, tapos gabi lang. So, sabi ko, hindi naman ako na gano'n. Naisip ko na siguro baka special, you know, sa gabi lang. Anyways, I waited, I waited. Finally, 8 p.m. gumating na. So, pumasok na ako sa loob ng sinihan. And lo and behold, I discovered ako lang ang tao sa loob ng sinihan. Now, sabi ko sa sarili ko, okay, isa lang ang showing, ako lang ang tao, ano kaya ang ibig sabihin nito, right? So I was, uh, you know, medyo na, na, na rin ako, natuwa rin naman ako kasi ano lang ako sa sinihan, ako lang mag-isa. Sabi ko, ako lang mag-isa! You know, walang sumasagot sa akin, you know, di ba? Kasi may mga announcement, wag ka raw maingay. Well, pwede ako mag-ingay, walang tao rito. So I was really, you know, uh, it, it was an interesting experience for me. First time ko rin nangyari sa akin yun, na yung sinihan, ako lang mag-isa. Parang akin lang yung akin, okay? This is my theater, okay? So anyway, so yun na, lumabas na yung pelikula. And I was so really para excited. Ko, Liam Neeson, you know? So yun na, nag-umpisa na and everything. So siyempre, alam nyo naman si Liam Neeson, medyo, no, ang, ang, ang character niya is parang he is a parang model citizen, mabait na tao. And then, ang pinaka-conflict was that yung kanyang son, the only son, was murdered or was killed. Okay? Alright. So sabi ko, ano ka mangyayari? And so the rest of the movie was all about you know, yung paghihiganti ni Liam Neeson, all throughout two hours, wala siya ginawa kundi itsugiin lahat ang pumatay sa, sa anak niya. And I was like, like uh, masakla pa nito, yung kalaban niya doon sa pelikula was so parang inept, you know, parang so, wala, walang ka-challenge-challenge. Sa inisip ko, dapat si Provinciano na lang nilagay dyan eh. Parang mas madali pang tapusin yung pelikula. Anyway, I endured the movie. To make the long story short, okay, Hindi sa, ibig sabihin nito, si Liam Neeson laging boring. But that particular movie, boring. Okay? And buti na lang, mura lang. Hallelujah. Amen, di ba? So, hindi ako masyadong, masyadong sumama yung loob ko. But I'm telling you that because nobody here, none of us dito, would like to waste our time at, you know, definitely ayaw natin ma-bore. Okay? Sino rito ayaw nyo mabore kayo? Ayaw nyo ng boring anything, you know? Uh, boring kausap, you know? Look at the person beside you, boring kausap, okay? Boring na araw, boring whatever, boring the party. We don't want to be bored, okay? Kaya nga mga young people, ako, hirap na hirap sila, you know? Whenever na parang walang nangyayaring anything exciting sa buhay nila, okay? 
Kaya magpo-post na sila, wah, boring, you know, tapos magpipicture na nila yung mga kuko nila, magpo-post sila sa Instagram, you know, para lang magkaroon ng anything interesting, okay? Anyway, I'm talking about boredom kasi sa totoo lang, some people, because they don't understand Sabbath, they think it's just a boring day. Okay? Kasi ano gagawin mo? Wala, nakatunga nga ka lang dyan, alright? So what are you going to do? So some people, you know, iniisip nila, well, Sabbath, ano bang gagawin sa Sabbath? Well, that's why mamaya tatalakayin natin yung practicing the Sabbath kasi I want to talk about the practicality of it. But uh, this morning, I want to introduce to you yung goals of the Sabbath. Okay? Kasi there are things sa kailangan, hindi naman yung parang kailangan in a sense na parang requirement ito. No? But all I'm saying na pwede ito maging guide. Pwede maging guide sa ating lahat dito na para we can, we can begin to see na ang, na ang Sabbath talaga is not boring, it's actually very exciting. Okay? Once you understand on the goals, no. So I'm going to talk about the four essential goals of Sabbath. Okay, apat na goals of the Sabbath. Again, this is not parang to-do list, na requirement, na pag di mo ginawa, ang bad mo naman. No, that's not the point. Okay, parang this is like parang okay guideline. You no, know? this is supposed to be. Dapat kung you know you know na dapat. I hate the word na dapat kasi parang may requirement. You know, it's more like parang okay. You know, aim for this. You know, I aim mo to. You know, and pray about it. Na yung Sabbath day mo would meet this goal. So ano ni mga goals na yan? Number one, okay? To stop from work and to cease from worry. That's the first goal. To stop from work, hindi lang yung work na paid, yung may bayad ka, but even unpaid work. You know, yung chores sa bahay. At lahat ang mag- mga nanay sabi nyo, amen. amen. All right, okay. <laughs> Hindi lang yung mga paid work, like your job, even yung unpaid work, even school, kasama dyan, to, to, to stop it for that one day, to stop it, and then to cease from worry. Now, here's the text na gusto kong basahin natin uh, for this particular point. Sabi ni Jesus sa Matthew 6, verse 25 to 27, Therefore, I tell you, sino yung kausap niya? Mga disciples niya, okay? Mga followers niya. I tell you, do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink or about your body what you will wear is not life more than food and the body more than clothes ang ibig sabihin ng Panginoon sinasabi niya sa atin diretso okay lahat tayo who are following the Lord don't be like everyone else na ang pinaka-concern lang talaga nila is about the you know the things na normally concern naman lahat ng tao which is you know, pagkain, inumin, damit, okay? Now, he's not saying that hindi importante yung mga yan. But he's saying that there are things far more important than those things. Okay? Sabi niya, is not life more than food? Now, I, I love to eat. Anybody here who love to eat? Come on, be honest lang. You love to eat. Okay? Di ba, napak, sarap kumain. Di ba? Lalo lang at pag talaga namang masarap yung pagkain. Right? Yung pag sinabi sinigang, Diba? Ang batayan natin yan, si PG. Diba? Hindi yung pinakuluang baboy na nilagyan ng kalamansi. Hindi, hindi ganun. Okay? But really, sinigan. Okay? Uh, who, would lo- who wouldn't love that? Okay? We love that. Okay? Or, or any kind of food na paborito nyo sa buhay nyo. Right? So, he's not saying na, okay, masama ang kumain, o masama ang uminom, or anything like that, o masama ang bumili ng Uniqlo. <laughs> okay? No, he's not condemning that. He's saying na saan naka-center Yung, yung heart, yung, yung priorities mo, saan nakafocus siya. Now, those things are, you know, work, or whatever, school, these are good. But they can easily become parang more important than anything else. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, alam naman natin sa mundo kinagagalawan natin, alright? People are often ikang judge by their work or their profession or by their whatever it is na accomplish nila. By themselves. So, I mean, ganito. For example, pag, pag, nagkaka, you know, pag nagkakilala kayo, meron kayo kakilala, then people would say, so, ano ang trabaho mo? What is your work? Okay? Now, so, minsan nagkakaroon ng comparison ng mga tao in terms of, of that. Okay? Saka nag-aaral. Okay? Ako nag-aaral ako sa lasa. You know? Anong isipin ng lasa? You know, paano ginawa ang lasa? Binil. You know? So, you know, you know, so, you're talking about, you know, mga status mo based on your work. I'm an engineer. Okay? I'm a doctor. Okay? Often we measure ourselves by these things. Yung mga externality ng ganun, you know? Or artista ako. Or at least, you know, meron akong kaibigan na ganun, no? 
And so we, we measure ourselves. Now, misan din natin sinasadya to, even as Christians, we tend to think na ang worth natin ay nakabase, yung halaga natin sa mundong ito ay nakabase, yung identity natin nakabase sa work natin or sa school natin or what we do. Okay, kung matangas ang grade mo, oh, oh grabe, taas ng grade mo. Or summa cum laude ka, oh, grabe ha, ang galing mo. You know, and so it's either we feel proud of what we do in life and we base yung identity natin doon, which means, which means, by the way, pag nagkaroon ng threat doon, pag tipong nawalan ka ng trabaho or parang you feel like mawawala ka ng trabaho or yung grades mo parang bumaba, suddenly you feel yung tension sa puso mo na parang you're not worth it anymore. Hindi ka na mahalaga. There are people actually who feel na wala na silang kwenta because they lost a high-paying job. Okay, na wala na sila sa school na pabaga identity nila yun, yung pabaga yung status nila. Or if they're associated with some people, parang they feel na importante sila kung meron silang selfie kasama ni Manny Pacquiao or somebody na kilala, parang yun, wow, sikat din ako. How many people fail to understand that this is not really important, you know, na hindi itong essence of life. And yet, we tend to do that. We tend to identify our, ourselves doon sa ginagawa natin, sa work natin. And at the same time, ito rin yung dahilan bakit minsan we, so, we feel so insecure. Diba? For example, if you're a housewife, then, anong, anong work mo? Di housewife lang po ako. Diba? Merong commercial dati, kailan ba yun? A few years back, dapat daw hindi ganun ang sagot mo. Dapat ang sagot mo, housewife ako. Diba? Tubero ako. Hindi, hindi. Pag puti ng anong trabaho mo, tubero lang. You know? Because we feel insecure. We think na yung worth natin as a person is dependent sa mga external things. That's why, sabi na Panginoon, I want you for one day, stop focusing sa mga nagagawa mo or anything na accomplish mo in this life or in this world. I want to just to just know that you are loved, that you are accepted. Kahit wala kang na accomplish kahit wala kang sasakya, kahit ang bahay niyo maliit lang, tapos pag umuulang, tumutulo, it doesn't really matter because you are loved by God. And having this one day to just just claim that and say, God, kahit hindi ko na-accomplish to, kahit hindi ako sikat, kahit yung pangalan ko, uh, uh, tambu ko, or whatever, you know, you know, I don't care. I am loved by God and I can just be free. Amen? God wants you to just stop one day, not because wala siyang pakilam sa trabaho mo, not because hindi siya interested, because God teaches in His Word na dapat tayo magtrabaho, but oftentimes yung trabaho natin nagiging just josan Yung career natin nagiging oh, everything na. I know so many people because of their parang devotion sa work, devotion sa school, that they forget everything else in their lives. That they neglect themselves. Sometimes sa kagustuhan nila to excel, they sacrifice their health. Sa kagustuhan nila na to be somebody, kasi parang they're so interested in people being impressed sa external accomplishments mo. Some people even suffer, you know, na yung stress and, and high blood pressure and so many things because kailangan ma-achieve, kailangan maka-accomplish, kailangan gumawa. And God says, stop. Stop. And cease worrying about these things. Sabi niya, it's not life more than food and the body more than clothes. And then he says this, sabi niya, look at the birds of the, the air. They do not sow or, or reap or, or stow away in barns. And I, I know some of you are medyo philosophic, philosophic kayo. Eh, hindi naman sila nagbabayad ng renta tulad namin. Well, the point of Jesus is this. Hindi yung sinasabi na parang, you know, i- i- deny mo or reject mo yung realidad na meron tayong mga obligations. Hindi yun ang point niya. Ang point niya dito is this. Nasaan ang tiwala mo? It really boils down to that eh. Nasaan ang trust mo? So sabi niya, look at the birds. Okay? Uh, they, 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 ano, sabi niya, they do not sow or reap, not this land katrabaho or store away in barns. And yet your heavenly father feeds them. Now the point dito, sabi niya, are you not much more valuable than they? This is the bottom line issue talaga sa mga taong workaholic o sa mga taong perfectionist, o sa mga taong para super, super engrossed na na kailangan makarating na status, you know? God is saying, are you not valuable already sa mata ko? Do you have to be approved by anyone? Kailangan ba ma-impress sila sa'yo? And social media, minsan, yan ang kaaway natin. Because sa social media, we all want to impress. We all want to show the best side of everything natin. 
And uh, you know, wala pa naman nagpapakita doon na meron pa ba bang nakita sa sa Instagram story or Facebook story na nagsusulat nag-aawayan sila ng pamilya nila, nagsasapakan sila ng ginoo. No, no, lagi mo makikita doon, maganda lagi, maganda, maganda damit, maganda ang suot. And sometimes we envy those people. And maybe right now, meron mga nangyayari sa buhay mo na not so perfect. Maybe may mga nagaganap sa buhay mo ngayon na parang wish mo lang na hindi nangyayari. Now here's my question to you. Does that mean di ka mahal ni Lord? Amen? Does, does that mean na kinalimutan ka na ni Lord? Does that mean na wala na siyang pakialam sa'yo? Just because may nangyayari sa buhay mo hindi maganda? Just because may nangyayari dyan na hindi ideal? Maybe meron ka mga situations in life na para, you know, hindi talaga perfect. Does that mean di ka na loves ni Lord? How do you see these things? Kaya gusto ng Panginoon tumigil ka sandali. You know why? Gusto niya na makontento ka in His presence. Na wala kang dapat i-prove. Right? Na wala. Alam niyo yung mga, mga anak na alam nilang love sila ng mga magulang nila. Hindi dahil maganda sila, pogi sila, matalino sila. But just because of who they are. Tinan mo yung tsura ng mga anak na gano'n in the presence of their parents na talagang they just, you know, the parents just love them unconditionally. Hindi yung parang, taas mo grade mo ha, kung di ka na love, di ka na love si mami. Hindi ka na love. Yung ba, kahit ano pa yung grade mo, they would embrace you and love you. Tinan mo yung mga tsura ng mga anak na gano'n, they just feel so contented in their hearts. And confident. Di ba? Pag alam mo mahal ka ng isang tao for who you are, di ba? Don't you feel confident in their presence? Amen? Pero pag ginajudge ka nila based on, pag ganyan ang damit mo, ba't ang kulay na damit mo? Kulay pula. You know? Or bakit hindi, you know, ba't baduin ang damit mo? And so you feel so parang insecure sa presence nila? And you want to impress them? Pero not with your Heavenly Father. Kasi with your Heavenly Father, you are valuable, you are loved, just as you are. Kaya ka sabi sa verse 37, Can anyone of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? So he's saying to us, ba't ka nag-worries? Here, here's the thing na gusto niyo maintindihan ninyo. Sabbath keeping, o yung titigil ka isang araw para magpahinga, is actually a form of training sa soul mo. So that you do not live your life na lagi stressed and worried and natatakot lagi, afraid lagi. Naku, buko matatagal ako sa trabaho. But he, yung Sabbath na yun, one day a week, is your way of training yourself to just be in God's presence and say, Lord, thank you. You love me. You care for me. I can face the next week. Pwede ko i-face yung next week. Kahit ano pa yung mga uncertainties dyan. Kahit ano pa yung, Because I know I am loved by God. Amen? Amen? I think some of you dito need to assess your own heart. Kasi iba sa inyo dito, hindi kayo makabagsabat simply because you're afraid. Na may baka may, may, may miss out ka na opportunity. Some of you cannot just be still in the presence of God kasi feeling mo kailangan may ma-accomplish ka. And God says, stop. Stop your work. Cease from worrying. Be happy in my presence. Amen? Are you, are you here? Tito ba kayo? Nakikinig ba kayo? So be happy, be content in my presence. That's it. The first goal. Okay? Stop work. Cease all worry. Okay, second goal. To rest your body and to renew your soul. So, hindi lang yung mag-stop negatively, stop ka ng work and cease from worry, tigil mo muna yung mga labada, plancha, plancha, tigil mo muna yung mga bagay na naaligaga ka, just, okay, stop. Hindi lang yun, but the purpose dyan is for you to rest your body and also to renew or strengthen your soul. Your soul is that invisible part of you na nagli-leak out. Are you listening? Nagli-leak out pag hindi ka aware. What am I talking about? Diba? Well, it's like this, diba? Kung okay lang ang nangyayari, everything is just fine, hindi ko talaga malalaman ang true condition of your soul. You may be parang mukha ka namang mabait. Tinan mo yung katabi mo, mukhang mabait siya. Diba? Mukhang mabait. Okay? Right. Deceiving, diba? Deceiving. Ano? Mukhang mabait. Okay. Now, how would you know ang tunay na condition of your heart. Pag may pressure, pag may sitwasyon that you don't like, pag may nangyayari na hindi maganda, pag may conflict, pag mayroon mga sitwasyon na parang, you know, there's, pag may pressure sa life mo, then the reality of who you are leaks out. 
And so gusto ng Panginoon that you will really spend time in His presence kasi there are things na gusto niyang i-reveal sa you about you. Now listen carefully po. Listen, this is so important na gusto ko wag, wag niyo miss out ito. Pagdating sa physical healing, that can happen instantaneously. Okay? Kung may sakit ka, I mean, that can happen. Not all the time, pero that can happen. Possibly yun. If you pray, Lord, pagalingin mo ako dito sa karamdama ko, that can happen instantaneously. Agad-agad. Okay? I've seen that happen. Of course, hindi naman all the time. There are times na medyo talaga mahaba. Pero, when it comes to the transformation of your soul, listen, it requires time. It requires paying attention. It requires focusing on what God is saying to you. Now, kailan mangyayari yun? While you're so busy, running here and there, look at the story in the Bible. The famous story of Martha and Mary, right? In Luke 10. Sabi ko to, as Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village, okay, where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. Now, partly as we read the rest of the Gospels, we would find out na may relationship siya dito kay Mary at kay Martha. At also, sa kapatid nilang si Lazarus. Close si Jesus sa kanila. So, every now, every now and then, pagbibisita siya doon sa lugar na yun, he would go to Martha's house. Now, sabi sa verse 39, She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. So here's the here's the scenario. Dumalaw si Jesus, pumunta siya doon sa bahay nila Martha and Mary, pero sabi rito at the beginning of the story, si Mary daw, what she did was doon siya naupo sa paanan ni Jesus, which means na gusto niyang makinig. Gusto niyang matuto. Amen. Gusto niyang makinig ng words of God from Jesus. Now look at what happened next. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. Now, please don't judge Martha again because normal sa isang Jewish home may bisita ka that you actually, you know, show hospitality. I mean, kaya tayo naman siguro pag may bisita ka, di ba? Amen? Alam mo pag may bisita ka, sabi mo sa kanya, sige, mabupo ka dyan, kumain ka kung gusto mong kumain. No, hindi, di ba? Pag may bisita ka, you treat them well, right? You offer them food or drink or whatever, di ba? Sabi mo na, sige, basta dyan ka lang ha. Or, or si upo ka doon para kausapin siya, para i-entertain siya. Di ba normal lang naman yun? There's nothing wrong with that. But the key word dito, now listen, what's the key word? Distracted. Are you listening? Distracted. Ang ibig sabihin ng distracted, hindi siya makafocus. Uh, saan siya hindi makafocus? Doon sa realidad that Jesus is there. You see, Jesus is not there all the time. Are you listening? Jesus came to visit. Hindi siya, hindi siya katera doon. Hindi siya naandun palagi. I mean, physically speaking, that was th- that one moment na naandun si Jesus. Now, unfortunately, ang problem ni Martha, hindi yung masipag siya. Ang problem niya is, yung moment na yun, which is a very important moment, distracted siya. Now, just be honest sa bawat isa sa atin. It's so hard to hear God when you're distracted. Sa totoo lang, yung araw-araw na ginawa ng Panginoon sa buhay natin, minsan nga we don't even pay attention when He is parang at work in our lives. Sometimes hindi nga tayo parang nagiging aware that He is present during certain moments of our day. Are you listening? Kasi we're so distracted. Yung prayer natin, parang, Lord, bahala ka na. Tapos pag gabi na, matutulog ka na, Lord, thank you. you know? So you're so distracted. And sometimes, minsan, pag nagli-leak out na yung soul mo, ang tingin mo doon, ano lang yung parang problem lang, away lang, conflict lang, when in fact, the Lord is speaking to you. How many of us dito aware tayo na pag napunta ka sa isang conflict situation na nagkasigawan kayo, nag-away kayo, nagalit ka, nagmuranga, nag-walk out ka, how many of you would just pause and say, God, what is that? Often times, pag nangyari yun, na, na, na bad trip ka, na inis ka, you know, lalabas ka, punta ka sa SM, sale siguro doon, lilibagay mo sa sarili mo para makalimutan mo na, and then, you know, gagawa ka, maglilinis ka ng pinggang para mawala na emotions mo, no, inis, you know, pag nawala na, wala na. Now, what has happened? You missed out on God's work on your soul. Look at this story. Ay, sorry. Look at this. Sabi niya, 
But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. And this happened. She came to him. He came to, she came to Jesus and asked, Lord, no notice you. Don't you care? Say that with me. Don't you care? Kailan nag-uumpisa yung mga doubts natin about the love of God? Kailan nangyayari, we begin to question kung baal ba tayo ni Lord. It is when we are distracted, we're not paying attention, you know. So, ang nangyayari, we begin to doubt. Bakit Lord, kung talaga yun, we begin to doubt God. We begin to question yung mga choices niya para sa atin. We begin to question His will for our lives. Instead of trusting God and being at peace and saying, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Did not doubt natin si Lord. Notice the same verse. I mean, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Ha ha. Then you would see the soul of a person pag mayroong stress. You begin to be impatient with people around you. Notice the yun? Pag isang tao wala sa ayos. Amen? Raise up your hands if you have met somebody na wala sa ayos. I mean, yung soul niya wala sa ayos. Uh, yeah, okay, don't look at the person beside you. Just raise up your <laughs> Alam mo yun, wala ka sa ayos. Parang lahat na lang kinaiinisan mo. Okay? I mean, alright. Sure, naiintindihan ko kung di nahugasan yung pinggan. Pero kailangan ka ba magwala? Oh, I mean, naiintindihan ko nang di nawalis yung ipis. Pero kailangan ba batuhin mo mga tao ng, ng chinelas? Kailangan ba magtataray ka dyan? You know, o, o sa mga lalaki, you know, kailangan ba maging violente tayo when, when, when things are not working out our way? Oftentimes, our soul leaks out. At nagkakaroon tayo ng mga fear and doubt kay Lord. At yung mga tao sa paligid natin, we begin to be impatient sa kanila. At minsan, yung mga salita natin sa mga tao sa paligid, puro panunumbat. I mean, okay lang mag, magluto tayo, di ba? Amen. Puri ng Panginoon sa mga nanay na nagluluto. Amen. Wala pa ka ng kamay sa mga nanay. Na, I mean, every day. Na-imagine ko lang yun. Every day, pag nila, ano kaya uhulamin ng mga anak ko? Blessed be the Lord sa mga nanay. Di ba? Tayo kasi pag natin, ano ulang? Ano, you know, wala, wala tayong pakialam eh. Sila yung namamalingki, magluluto, maghihiwa. Tayo naman parang ang tagal na mamaluto niyan. I mean, di ba? We should appreciate yung mga magulang natin who work hard, O yung mga tatay na tatrabaho na talagang hapong-hapo sila doing their best to provide. Lahat yan maganda eh. But look, hey, wait a second. Lala. Wait a second. Kasi pag hindi natin binabantay yung soul natin and we're not resting our bodies. So habang nagluluto ka, panay ang bulong mo. Wala kayong ano? Kakain lang kayo. Kailan nyo gusto kumain? Tanghali na, di pa kayo gumigising? Tapos paglatag mo ng plato, ano ko, lipin ba ako dito? You know? So hindi na kami makain yung pagkain. Sige, kainin nyo yan! O yung tatay, uuwi. Nakita lang niya na kung hindi maayos. Ano ba yan? Ba't hindi maayos? Tapos wala silang patience sa mga tao. Look, everybody, makinig ba kayo mga kapatid? Hindi tayo kinrate ni Lord eh, nang ganun. Malalaman mo na wala ka na sa ayos kasi yung body mo, nararandaman mo na kasi, di ba, kasi wala ka ng time so kain ka na kain ng fast food kain ka na kain hindi mga pagkain na makakabuti ka nag exercise so di ba, ibig sa lumalago ka sa Panginoon lumalago ka lang and you're tired all the time and I remember minsan may prayer meeting kami talaga we were really in the presence of the Lord mamaya ko din nakarindig kami ng hilik May humihilig. Ganun ba kayo mag-pray? Oh, hallelujah, Lord. <laughs> because God did not create us na ganun na yung hindi natin nire-rest yung katawan natin. And that yung soul natin napapabayaan. And you would, know, you would notice a person's soul na wala sa ayos because wala siyang ano eh. You know, hindi, hindi, niya, ma, hindi niya maintindihan yung mga bagay-bagay misa nangyari sa paligid niya. Hindi siya sensitive sa presence ni Lord. Sabi dito, tell her to help me. Ang sabi ni Jesus, Martha, Martha. Hindi siya galit. Martha, Martha. Sabi niya, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things. Hindi sila sabi ni Lord, wag ka mag-ayos. Pero worried ka eh. Upset ka, galit ka eh. 
But few things are needed. In this particular case, sabi ni Jesus, few things are needed. Indeed, only one lang. In this case, ito yung priority. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. There should really be a time na handa ka makinig kay Lord. Na hindi ka distracted. Ay, kinig po ba kayo? Hindi pwede lagi parang fast food. Ha? Quiet time daw. Sige, Lord, quiet time. Yung habang tumatakbo ka, yun ang quiet time. O nagdadrive ka, Lord, bahala ka lang sa buhay ko. Ha? In Jesus' name, you know. Okay, nagpipray ka, Lord, salamat sa pagkain ito. Wala namang pagkain. Mga kapatid, we need to repent from this kind of lifestyle. Gusto ng Panginoon that our bodies are rested. Amen? Kaya pag Sabado, mga kapatid, ha? listen carefully. Some of you dito, Sabado, puyat kayo ng puyat. Sa pagdating ng linggo, nadya, nadya kayo, oh, puyat, sa glasses pa kayo. You have to prepare yourself. Amen? Para fully engaged ka sa presence of God. Para nakakapakinig ka. Na tinan mo yung katabi mo, I give you authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Na kilitiin mo yan kung buhay pa yan. Tinan mo yan. Makagising, baka tulog na yan. Alright? Kasi huwag kayo madideceive. Kasi mayroong mga tao, magaling talaga na practice nila yan eh. Naka, nakaganyan sila, nakatingin sila yan. Pero tulog yun. May mga ganyan, export. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> praise God. Number third goal, okay, to receive and give love from God and others. Oh, this is so important, mga kapatid. To receive and give love from God and others. Now, masahin natin ito. Dear friends, let us love one another. For love comes from God. Now, everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love. Now, get you point? I mean, love is so important to God. Ang problema natin ganito. How many of you love your family members? I mean, wala naman siguro di magtataas dito. Kung di ka nagtaas, lagot ka. Katabi mo yung pamilya mo, di ba? I mean, oh, I, I love my wife. I love my sons. I mean, you know, I even love my dog, you know. <laughs> but here's my point. Saying that you love somebody and actually acting and doing what is necessary to show your love is a different thing. Minsan nga tayo, pag nagkakainan tayo, I don't know if you've noticed this, nasa kainan, lahat may cellphone. Ako, I do this all the time. Pinapagalitan nga ako minsan ni PJ. You know, kainan, nandiyan yung family, minsan lang kayo magkasama-sama. Lahat pa nakatitig, nakatutok dun sa... You know? Tapos, you know, yung usap, puro mababaw, di ba? Pasa mo ngayon toyo, anong ulam, tilapia. You know? So, wala talaga in-depth conversation kung saan there is napapahatid nyo sa isa't isa, you know, you're important to me. You're valuable sa akin. And I'm saying this not because parang self-righteous ako na, I, I'm also parang struggling with this kasi nasanay ako ng ganun eh. Nasanay ako ng ganun, like kung hawak yung telepono ko. And part of my job kasi bilang marketing person ng GLS, parang kailangan ko lagi mag ganun. And, 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 and I, you know, I thank the Lord for, for, for my wife, Pastor Regina, who would always remind me na, o baba mo muna yan. Kailan mo muna yan. Tama na muna. Amen? Now, it takes one day talaga for you to say, na, I'm going to focus on the people that God has brought into my life. At kakausapin ko yung mga tao na hindi ako nagmabadali o naiinip. Some of you dito, dahil na-train ang soul nyo na sa sobrang kabisihan, pag may kausap ko yung tao, makikita mo na naiinip kasi gagano'n gano'n yung tuhod eh. Talaga, tapusin mo na yung kinukwenta mo. Or habang may nagsasalita, iniisip mo na kung reply mo. Hindi pa siya tapos. I'm so guilty of this. Minsan pag may nagsasalita, katap- kakausap ko, iniisip ko na yung three points eh. May three points agad ako. Kasabihin ko agad, alam mo, PJ, apat na bagay, lahat ang umpisa sa D. You know? And I need to just stop that. And just love people and love my people, the people around me. Amen? Ang iba sa atin dito need to repent. Kasi baka balang araw, pagtapos na yung journey mo sa mundong ito, pagkukunin ka na ng Panginoon, as yun, nakaburol ka na. Walang tao doon sa burol mo, janitor lang nagwawalis. Walang gustong pumunta because you never invested your life to love people. 
puro ka trabaho. Puro ka career. Some of you don't even want to serve God with your talents and, and gifts. Kasi you're so career-oriented. So work-oriented. Sabi ni John, this is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through Him. In other words, you, you love it. Eh? Love is doing always something for the benefit of the one love. Sabi dito sa verse 10, This is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. You know why we are not very loving misa sa mga tao sa paligid natin? We're so, misan parang, you know, cutting yung mga remarks natin. Because we, are, we don't know how to, how to remain in God's love and how to receive God's love for us. Kaya misan di rin natin may pakita yung love na yun, yung grace na yun sa ibang tao. We're so judgmental misa sa mga tao because hindi natin matanggap yung acceptance ni Lord sa atin. So here's what John is saying, okay? Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us and His love is made complete in us. Mga kapatid, we need some time to just train ourselves how to love. Naalam ko siguro for, for those of you mga young people dito na in love kayo sa kung sino man, oh, you really spend time with them. Pero what about your family? What about your parents? Minsan na naririnig lang sa iyo ng parent mo, eh, ganito, pengin baon. But you never tell them that you care for them and you love them. And that's true for me. That's true for all of us dito. Amen? Oh, we need to practice this. Kailangan ko matuto nito. Anybody here na pareho lang tayo? We need to learn this? You know, how to live in love? How to walk in love? I mean, I'm, I'm, I need to learn this. Okay? So, last, to feast and celebrate in God's presence. This is the fourth and, and final goal of the Sabbath. To feast and celebrate. At lahat kayo na mahilig kumain, say amen. amen. <laughs> gusto gusto niyo yan, di ba? Yan ang pinakamaganda sa lahat. To feast and celebrate. But here's what the Bible says in Isaiah 58. Listen now. If you keep your feet from breaking the Sabbath and from doing as you please on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight, in other words, God wants you to be happy on the Sabbath, and the Lord's holy day honorable, and if you honor it by not going your own way, Ibig sabihin, kung gagawin mo yung Sabbath nila, it's a time to really, you know, to just enjoy God's presence and enjoy your family and enjoy one another in the presence of the Lord. And sabi nito, and not doing as you please or speaking idle words, in other words, wasting time, sabi niya ganito, then you will find your joy in the Lord. And I will cause you to ride in triumph on the heights of the land and to feast on the inheritance of your father Jacob. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Listen, sa mundo kinagagalawa natin, there's so many things na pwedeng mag-cause sa atin to be negative and complaining and nag-rant palagi. I have a friend na ito yung magpo-post sa Facebook, lagi siya may kaaway. I mean, lahat ng tao galit siya. And the last time I heard, kinailangan siyang operahan because nagkaroon na siya ng heart problem. Kasi galit lagi. And there's so many things in this world na kaiinis mo at kagalit mo. Amen? Are you with me? Ay, mismo ko nyo lang dumaan dyan sa tulay. <laughs> Di ba, pagkatapos mo dumaan sa tulay, hindi mo maiwasan na may lalabas sa bibig mo na para ano ba naman niya, tatlong taon na. You know? So, you can be so negative and there's so many things sa mundo natin that can be, ikang a trigger for us to be hopeless and to, for us to be disappointed. Alam nyo gusto ng Panginoon sa Sabbath? That you focus on God's reality and God's promises. That you focus Doon sa who He is and how He is reigning and how He is Lord of all. At yung purpose niya sa, sa mundong ito to, to save the world. He wants you to focus on that which is true, that which is positive, that which gives hope. Upang sa ganun, when you face the week, pagkatapos sa Sabat mo, when you face the week, so you face it with hope, with faith, diba? with love. Kasi hindi ka cynical, Hindi ka parang apathetic, wala nang pakaila, hindi ka sarado. You know what happens kasi minsan, di ba, when you're disappointed by people, amen? Ilan na rito na-disappoint kayo sa mga tao, kami, just be honest. Mayroong mga tao na parang, kala ko pa naman, kaibigan ko siya, you know? Come on, raise up your hands. If you were disappointed somehow by people, you know, tendency, pag na-disappoint ka sa mga tao, 
You should begin to close your heart. At nagiging kalos ka. Bawal ah, na kung church members na disappoint ka sa kanila. <laughs> church members are our CC. <laughs> and you close your heart. And you become bitter. And you become a person na mahirap lapitan. Kasi masyado kang masungit. Buti sana kung gwapo ka, may 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 sa pangit ang masungit. God wants you to have a celebrative outlook in life. A positive outlook that says, God, I know that you're working all things for the good. Amen. Kahit may mga samang hindi magandang nangyayari, I trust you, Lord. Yan ang Sabbath. Amen? So ulitin ko, ha? Four essential goals of the Sabbath. Number one, stop from work and cease from worry. Rest your body and renew your soul. Receive and give love from God and others. And feast and celebrate in God's presence. One of the wonderful things that you can do in the Sabbath is to eat the best. And say, thanks be to God in the Sinigang. Amen. Praise the Lord. Eat some special food together in the presence of God. So let me end with this. Making your Sabbath purposeful makes it meaningful. Making your Sabbath Purposeful makes it meaningful. Amen? Napakasarap pag-sabat in God's presence pag alam mo bakit. When you come into the presence of God, knowing full well, na gusto niya na mag-stop ka sa worrying and all of that, mag-rest ka sa kanya, embrace mo yung love niya, be satisfied with his gifts, learn to love your family, your wife, your spouse, your parents, your brothers and sisters, and then just eat together in the presence of the Lord. What a wonderful gift. Amen po ba? Amen? Yun ang dahil lang bakit sinasabi natin dito sa church natin. Pag Sabado, wala mo ng meetings. Wala mo ng mga practice. Go to your homes. Tell your parents you love them. Tell your brothers and sisters you love them, you care for them. Be together in God's presence and celebrate. Amen? Tayong lahat ay magsitayon.